repeated axial force of P is 15 newton meters and acts along the 2 meter length of the beam. We want to know what the reactions are at the wall. Let's talk about this distributed load. The distributed axial load is still 15 newtons per meter and it acts over the 2 meter length. Don't get confused that it's not at a right angle. This is not some moment arm that I need to have at a right angle, like most of our distributed loads are. This is just 15 newtons per meter acting over 2 meters. So my total axial load is 15 newtons per meter times 2 meters, which is 30 newtons. Like any other distributed load, it acts at the centroid of the load intensity diagram. Well, my load intensity diagram is a straight line. The uh, centroid of a straight line is in the middle of the line. So my 30 newton load acts in the middle of the beam. Now, since you can slide it along its line of action, it doesn't really matter specifically in this case, but it applies just like everything else. So my free body diagram has two forces at the wall and a moment, and my distributed load. My equilibrium equations say that AX is minus 30, AY is 0, and MA is 0. Now I can answer the question. The reactions at the wall are 0 newtons vertically, 30 newtons to the left, and zero newton meters clockwise.